All right, my name is Brandon, and live here in the studio, we have Jeremy Barnes. You might know him from his percussion work on Neutral Milk Hotel, uh, his work uh, with his partner, uh, A Hawk and a Hacksaw, which is uh, ranges all over the place as far as Eastern European and Americana music, Dietrich and Barnes' uh, solo work, and his record label, LM Duplication. And he is playing drums and on guitar and vocals, Jimmy Stallings, a.k.a. G- uh, J.J. Light, you might know him. Farmington, uh, born, but based out of Albuquerque, New Mexico here with a long musical history we're, that we're going to get into. But right now, I think, uh, J.J., welcome to the studio. Jeremy, welcome to the studio. Um, you guys want to kick it off with a, with a song for us? Yes, yeah, it's just a little song that I wrote called I Played the Fool. And it's a song that I recorded, my first recording, back in 1959. Why do I miss you after all you have done? I've been so long, girl, since You've been gone You played the game But darling I played The fool I played the fool If you only knew How much I always loved you The pain I tried to hide So very down deep inside you play the game but darling I play the fool I play the fool Heavenly Father up above watch over the girl that I love Her heart is tangled Round and round She thinks This could have put her down Because I'll never love again Because it hurt me so That was my only sin To ever let you go You played the game, but darling, I played the fool. I played the fool. I played the fool. I played the fool. All right, you're listening live to KUNM 89.9 FM in the studio today. Jeremy Barnes and Jimmy Stallings. Jimmy, so you said 1959, that was on a record? You actually That recorded? was my first record out on Paxley label. Kim Foley and Gary Paxson, who was the leader of the Hollywood Argyles at that time. Yeah, and you were still in Farmington at that point, or were you, had yes, you moved to cool. L.A.? I was in high school. So um, <clears throat> you were 15? I was 17. 17. And already had kind of absorbed, what kind of music were you, had you absorbed Well, I was listening to Fats Domino, Little Richard, uh, you know, those kind of people, Elvis, uh, Jerry Lee. Yeah. At that point, if if you've cut a record, you must know that you want to, you want to do music. Yes, that's what I've always wanted to do. Yeah. And I've known that since I was nine years old. You figured it out. Is that when you have got your first guitar? Or? That's when I first got my first guitar. All right. I was nine years old, and I learned how to play it, and I'm a self-taught musician. Yeah. How did you make the transition? How, how did you get from Farmington, New Mexico, to Los Angeles, California? I worked out in the oil fields for three months, saved up enough money to get out there, and uh, I went to San Jose, and then... Kim Farley, who I was recording with, came down to San Jose one day, and he had a group of people uh, that he was, artists that he was uh, performing with, and he asked me if I'd like to go to Hollywood. And I was working in San Jose with my aunt and uncle, 
and uh, driving their laundry truck that they owned a laundromat. And uh, we just uh, went on the road with them, and I played the guy, Gene Thomas. Uh, he had a hit record called Sometimes, and I could sing like him, so Kim said, well, we'll go on the road as Gene Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> for real? That's for real. Okay. <laughs> All right, and on drums over here, we have Jeremy Barnes. I mean, Jeremy has a very long musical history, and so you guys are are devout, dedicated musicians, but how did your paths cross? How did you guys start? Well, my friend Sam Sweet went and introduced me to Jeremy. He's in California, and uh, I was there for 40 years, and I came back here to Albuquerque, New Mexico, to to kind of get my roots down here. Yeah. And uh, my mom lived in Farmington. I'm from Farmington. And I just uh, decided to stay here. And I did a lot of work in California. I worked with people like Larry Carlton, and uh, we were in a group called Ruben Rodriguez and his Guadalajara Kings. It was an 18-piece mariachi group, and we were the rock and roll band behind it. And Joe Salasino went and produced us on Liberty Records. I've been on Liberty Records since uh, uh, 64, 65. And then I had my own hit record called Hey Ya, which I'll be doing later on today. All right. 